Workplace Manager's Role, Preventing Sexual Harassment and Sexual Assault. If you are a workplace manager or in a recognized supervisory position, then you play a critical role in preventing, reporting, and maintaining a work culture free of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and related inappropriate behavior. Managers must understand the impact of such behaviors on individuals, teams, and the entire organization. Moreover, the manager should recognize that sexual misconduct is not just an ethical or moral issue, but also a legal matter that can result in serious consequences for the organization. So sexual harassment and assault is an isolated case-by-case -case issue. In fact, this is a myth. Here are some of the most common consequences. Mental and emotional harm. Sexual harassment and sexual assault can cause severe emotional distress and mental health issues, such as depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. This can lead to decreased job satisfaction, absenteeism, and reduced productivity. Physical harm. Sexual assault can cause physical harm to victims, including injuries, illnesses, and sexually transmitted infections. Loss of trust. Sexual harassment and sexual assault can erode trust between employees and their colleagues, as well as between employees and management. This can negatively affect workplace culture and team dynamics. Legal consequences. Sexual harassment and sexual assault can lead to costly lawsuits and damage to a company's reputation. High turnover rates. Victims of sexual harassment and sexual assault may choose to leave the organization, leading to high turnover rates and difficulties in retaining top talent. Decreased morale. Sexual harassment and sexual assault can cause low morale among employees and can create a toxic work environment that affects the productivity of the entire team. Decreased organizational effectiveness. Sexual harassment and sexual assault can have a negative impact on the organization's overall effectiveness and ability to achieve its goals as it diverts attention and resources away from the primary objectives of the business. Preventing sexual assault, sexual harassment, and related inappropriate behavior. Obviously, prevention is the best approach to deal with sexual harassment and assault in the workplace. As a manager, you should have on hand and moreover be aware of policies and procedures that define what constitutes sexual misconduct, how to report it, and the consequences of such behavior. The next step is to make sure your workplace culture is inclusive, respectful, and supportive of diversity. There is a critical link between disrespect and a non-supportive work environment and the degree to which it contributes to behavioral risk associated with harassment. By fostering a culture that values professionalism and mutual respect, you can help prevent or at least greatly reduce sexual misconduct from occurring in the first place. Reporting sexual assault, sexual harassment, and related inappropriate behavior. When an incident of sexual misconduct occurs, don't wait. Don't dismiss it as isolated or no big deal. Take swift action to address it. Speed of handling such incidents greatly contributes to the shock and awe deterrent effect to would-be perpetrators. Follow the reporting process of your organization. It is designed purposely to encourage victims to come forward without fear of retaliation. Ensure confidentiality. Do not discuss incidents of this nature with those who don't have a right to know. This is called reckless disclosure. Improper disclosure can create legal problems for the organization and you, while also making it less likely that employees will feel safe coming forward to report incidents. You should also conduct a thorough investigation to determine the facts and take appropriate action based on the findings. Do you know how to conduct a proper investigation?
Ask your HR or company's legal advisor if you don't know. Keep your next level manager, your boss, apprised of activities in managing the incident. Of course, follow the guidance of your HR advisor and, if appropriate, legal teams as directed. Maintaining a work culture free of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and related inappropriate behavior. Maintaining a workplace free of sexual misconduct requires ongoing attention and awareness. Don't only respond to incidents when they occur. Consider yourself a role model for appropriate behavior. Consider providing training to your employees. Ask your employee assistance program or HR about their recommendations or ability to offer appropriate training to reinforce the importance of respectful behavior and prevent misconduct. In addition to these efforts, the manager should lead by example and model appropriate behavior. The manager should treat all employees with respect and hold everyone accountable for their actions. The manager should also create a culture of openness and transparency, encouraging employees to report any concerns or incidents of misconduct without fear of retaliation. This may be one of the most important roles you have as a manager. Helping the workplace be a safe place to bring issues and concerns forward so they can be addressed. Conclusion As you can see, your role is a significant one preventing, reporting, and maintaining a work culture free of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and related inappropriate behavior. By acting in accordance with your organization's policies and procedures, offering training and refresher training, and modeling appropriate behavior, you will dramatically lower the risk of sexual misconduct incidents and reap the rewards for your organization and employees in the form of a positive and productive workplace. Thank you for participating in this program.